Thank you uh, for hey. joining me today on Press Day for uh, Leverage Redemption, Premier Amazon Freebie, and uh, November 16th, right around the corner. How's it feel? We're finally here. Wait, tell me about the Man Cave Chronicles. What an intriguing name that is. My wife came up with the name because it gets recorded downstairs in the basement, believe it or not. So it really is your Man Cave. (laughs) So uh, I was just telling Beth uh, a few minutes ago, uh, it feels like it's been forever since uh, season one ended. What's what's your thoughts on all this for uh, season two to be right around the corner? I mean, it, it, it's weird, isn't it? Because um, when you're when you're filming, you're so immersed in it, and it is. You think it. You, you think the day is never going to end, and the episode is mm. never going to end, and then the week is never. You know, you, it's so it, it's so immersive. There's no you. You don't think about your life in any way. You're just all about the scripts and um, doing the best you can, and 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 the long days, and 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 staying kind of nimble for it all. And then as soon as you wrap, you sort of like shed it like a costume mm. so it's it's so fun to come back and do the press and and like really think about like oh wow next week people are going to see that that was my world it was my life it was my every waking thought mm. you know we live and breathe it when we're doing it so it is sure. it is very thrilling that um people are going to get to watch it next week all right uh i know the first three episodes are going to drop at once and then we're going to see an episode each week i had the opportunity to watch the first two episodes last night and i like how it's like we're back with action suspense thriller you know a little bit of a little few comedy scenes in the same way uh what are you hoping for when the the viewers tune in for the first time for to return to watch season two well i think you know hopefully we we hit all those all those buttons i think that w- what makes the show kind of unique is that it does it, it gives you it has an emotional arc it's got the kind of the thrill of the of the chase it makes the people that are watching it feel it um a part of the action because we're reflecting things that are really going on in the world and we all and none of us are afraid of being complete go- goofballs and being really really silly and and so hopefully we, we hit all those marks again. I get to play some really um, fun characters. There's one character that I play as a journalist and she's, she smokes a big pen through the whole episode. I get to play a Colombian um, uh, boss, like gangster. I get to play a science, um, a really kooky science professor. Mm-hmm. Um, and I took aspects of different characters that I'd played in previous seasons and molded this, this one kind of comedic character and, There'll be lots of Easter eggs and um, for the existing fans, and and hopefully um, new fans will you know enjoy it and tune in too. You mentioned all those characters. Which one was your favorite? Um, I really love the um, the one I did in the work study job, uh, where I played the science professor because I'm very very fond of um, the character, the con character that I played in first contact job, and mm. the character that I played in the office job. And so um, the work study job is a sort of amalgamation of those two characters. And it was really fun to create. Mm-hmm. Now, how was it connecting out with like, your character, Sophie, though, between season one and season two? What, what do you think changed about her? I think that, you know, she's she she's gone through her kind of grieving process um, mm-hmm. with the help of the team, with the help of the work, with the help of, you know, Harry Wilson, this new friend that came in and kind of was an emotional support for her. But I think now she's she's like loving being kind of the boss lady. She's loving being the ringmaster. She's loving um, the challenges of it. And she's really in her stride. So that when this um, person from her past suddenly crops up and, and wants his sort of pound of flesh and wants his debt that he feels she owes him from having... Um, let him down in the past it comes as a real it really stops her in her tracks because mm-hmm. she was like moving forward like full throttle until he comes along he's a real he's a fly in the ointment that guy <laughs> so Sophie's like the mastermind of the team do you feel like there's pressure on your character I'm, I you know I think that 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 team if you fall they're going to catch you so right. um, I don't feel like there's too much pressure um, because there's always someone that's going to have your back um, and they might not do it in the nicest, you know, like Elliot might not be the most eloquent, um, but he, 
he might he you know in this in this season he really does like pin her up against the wall and say what the hell is going on you need mm. to be transparent with us but at the same time she knows that he would like throw himself in front of a truck for her so um yeah and the, the pressure is not too much i think mm. i know we're gonna see 13 episodes is there a certain episode that you can't wait for the viewers to watch and why um well you know it, it's really hard because you never want to you don't want to say oh the the season finale is right. really great right because you want everybody to enjoy the whole um but what i what i love about doing the show is that it always has an arc so there's always like some storylines in the in the early seasons that then get mm. resolved in the back end um so the, the double finale is going to really blow people's minds i think and then um I love um, I love the work study um, um, episode, which all takes place on a college campus, and we we shot it in um, Loyola University in in New Orleans, which is a beautiful campus. And I've never been on an American mm. um, university campus, so that was a, a real treat for me. But yeah, that there's um, there's a, a wonderful episode that we did, which is about a, a pyramid scheme where I take down the woman who's the head of this pyramid scheme, but she's a br- she's a really uh, um, challenging um, Mark. She's very powerful and strong, and she she's she's a read. She's like a grifter too. Mm-hmm. She reads Sophie perfectly. I mean, there's, there's there's some really good stuff lined up. Now, is there somebody from season one's cast that you didn't get a chance to work with a lot during season one, and you had a lot more scenes with season two, and you were excited about? You mean this year? I yes. mean, you mean season one redemption? Yeah. Um, you know, um. It, it's really, really hard because obviously Christian, Beth and I um, have known each other so long and we know we know where the magic is. Mm. We know where, um, you know, I know that I can do certain looks with Beth, which are just going to like hit the, you know, hit the spot. And then I know that um, Christian and I have a really good like physical comedy timing together. So we love doing that. But at the same time, I think it would be boring if we didn't have these new characters, these new right. dynamics. I feel that um, uh, um, Elise and I, um, Brianna's char- character, Brianna and I have some really interesting interactions um, this season where I, I become quite maternal towards her, but not in a, it's a different kind of maternal, like the, it's a new kind of maternal um, thing for Sophie because she's she's actually trying to encourage um, Brianna to like flee the nest a bit and experience mm. the world. And then with Harry, Sophie's really delighting in the fact that he's kind of really getting like pulled in by the uh, excitement of crime. Right. And, um, so, yeah, I think all those uh, character dynamics are, are flowing well. That's great. And Gina, I want to thank you uh, for giving me a few minutes today on Press Day. I can't wait for everybody to check it out on November 16th on Amazon Freebie. 